Hello and welcome to another quick Unity tutorial. Now in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to learn how to create your own pause button and how to pause and resume your game quickly. Now as you can see I can pause and resume my game whenever I want by using this simple button here. So we'll be doing everything from scratch and we'll be learning everything in the way and we have I have a, an infinite scrolling background here and if you want to know how to create this infinite scrolling background in the last tutorial I just taught you everything about that so you just go and check that out so let's get started now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything from this delete all these things so that we can create everything from scratch delete this so I have only this infinite scrolling background okay now the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty game object so press create create empty and I'm going to name it controller okay so select the controller and from the add component button let's add a new script and let's name it pause script and create an add now open the pause script in mono develop let's go and open it here's our pause script so the very first thing we want to do is at the top part of our pause script you want to create a public bool paused so what this will do this will tell you this will tell us when our game is paused when the game will be paused the pause will be true and when the game will not be paused it will be false so in the start at the first we're going to make it false so make paused equals false okay now in the update we're going to create something so that First of all, we'll test it with spacebar. So whenever we press spacebar, our game will be paused. Okay? So if input dot get key down input dot get key down key code dot space input dot get key down key code dot space that is whenever we press the spacebar from this keyboard, what will happen is paused equals not paused paused equals not paused because we have given an exclamation sign here so what will happen is if paused equals false when you press spacebar whenever we press spacebar the paused will be not paused that is paused if paused is false paused will be true and if paused is true the pause will be false so this is how we create this is how we control the pause by using the spacebar now next we give we want to give the logic if paused that is if paused is true what you want to do is we want to do time dot time scale time dot time scale equals zero that is if paused we want to make the time zero else if not paused else if not paused what you want to do is oops I hate this formatting of mono develop so if not pause what you want to do is going to make time dot time scale again one okay so when it is paused we want to make the time scale zero when it is not paused we want to make the time scale one so I think this should work so let's go and check it out so let's maximize let's go and play it as you can see if I press the spacebar it gets paused if I press the spacebar again it gets unchecked again so here is you can if I don't maximize it if you can see that here's the pause button pause uh, public variable it is unchecked at first so if I play the game and whenever I press space as you can see now it is checked and if I press space again it is unchecked so now let's go and put our button in the scene so from here we're gonna create create UI button now I'm going to reset the position from here reset it and make sure you have selected now select the button and press F key so that we can focus on the button now make sure you have selected this tool okay without it it'll be pain in the ass so let's go and move it to the bottom here and let's make it a bit small I think I think this should work and let's go and make the red transform at the lower corner 
and I think this should work. So what we want to do now is we want to add an event to the button. So if we select the button, as you can see here in the on click, the list is empty. So here we want to add a list. Oh, first of all, we have to we have to modify our script a bit. So first of all, what you want to do is I want to create a public void pause function. I want to create a public void pause function. So this function will be will be responsible for all the pause functionality that is uh, by our button. So make sure to make it public. Otherwise, we cannot access it from our button. Now, what you want to do is this if fast and this else if fast okay we want to copy this whole code from the update and we want to put it inside the pause so we want to copy the whole code from update and we want to push here we want to put it inside the pause so now now if i go here and click on the plus button here as you can see we have something so from here we can select the object on which we want to add an event so click it and we want to add it on the controller object okay so click here and we have a controller object now we can use all the functions that is attached in the script with controller so here you can see no function if you click on that and drop down menu will come and from the pause script we can select the pause function from the pause script pause function so now whenever the button is clicked the pause function will be run okay now let's modify the button a bit click the text and let's change the text from button to pause and let's change the color of the button from white to white to red I think work it should work so white to red now let's go and run our game and as you can see when I press the pause button oops it doesn't work I don't know why uh, I think I should check somewhere time to times click equals one if input oh you have to remove that also okay we don't need this if we want to whenever the pause function is called we want paused equals not paused okay so let's go and run it now now if I press the pause button our game gets paused and if I press it again our game gets unpaused again so this is how we create a very basic pause and resume mechanism for your game so I hope it helped you guys thank you very very much for watching this video and watch my other unity game development tutorials thank you very much see you in the next video